आज हम बात करेंगे एक बहुत ही इम्पॉर्टेंट चीज़ के बारे में वॉट आर वुमेन लुकिंग फॉर इन मैन ये मेरा परस्पेक्टिव है ऐसा मत बोलना कि यार तुम तरुण क्या बोल रहे हो लड़कियों को ना हमेशा स्टेबल बंदे पसंद हैं जो लाइफ में स्टेबल हो फाइनेंशियली स्टेबल हो दैट्स बिकॉज वेन दे हैव किड्स राइट दे वॉन्ट टू हैव ए बेटर लाइफ मदर ऑलवेज थिंग्स अबाउट देर किड्स हाउ टू कीप दैम सेफ एंड बेटर सो दीज डेज द बेस्ट वे टू गेट सिक्योरिटी इज मनी दैट्स वाई वुमेन लुक फॉर मनी एंड बायोलॉजिकली दे आर लुकिंग फॉर अ मैन हु इज बेटर दैन दैम इन एवरी वे इट जस्ट नॉट अबाउट मनी बट इट इज ऑल्सो अबाउट दे वॉन्ट समबडी हु इज टॉलर दैन दैम दे वॉन्ट समबडी हु लुक्स बेटर हैव ए बेटर नेम इन द सोसाइटी और स्टडीड हायर दैन दैम बिकॉज दे वॉन्ट मैन टू लीड दैम एंड दे वॉन्ट टू फॉलो बट दीज डेज बिकॉज ऑफ द सिचुएशन हैज चेंज कम्प्लीटली and women are able to go out and work and uh, take up different roles in the society roles have kind of became equal for men and women isse pehle aisa tha ki women only should work in uh, in kitchen stay home and take care of the kids and men would go out work hard and uh, earn money as we evolved as a society we want women to grow we want women to evolve and become better study education was specially made for men's brain because women's brain and men's brain is very different women can pick up things faster than men that's why isliye age gap bhi rehta hai na jab thoda bade logon se shaadi karwate hain abhi to aisa kuch nahi ho raha hai magar isse pehle aisa tha kyunki women get matured fast and men don't get matured fast men are mostly of like hard workers not like smart thinkers ghar ka kaam agar men karenge to bahut stressful ho jayenge kar rahe hai aajkal aajkal to equal ho gaya karna hi pad raha hai kuch aur nahi kar sakte hum right so what happened is the education system was designed for men's brain and it was not designed for women's brain so when women came into the education automatically they were better at it they were better at getting scores and they were better at doing their job because naturally they are better i'm not trying to say that men are useless or they are not useful what i'm trying to make is men need more education right now in the current society and women also need to understand their roles have changed and their expectations from men should reduce because of the expectations of the women is still the same the the way it was like uh, for example the expectation that men has to be better in every way should go down then only the balance will come into the society i'll give you an example let's say a guy passed out of college and you also passed out of the same college at the same time he is also working similar kind of job and sometimes doesn't work out so he might have to work for a job which is paying less but when it comes to marriage we look at men to earn better than women and women do not want to choose the men who are earning less i'm not saying everybody but most of the women want their husbands or uh, boyfriends or whomever they are going to get married to earn better than them or be taller than them so they have a checklist of 100 things according to one of the stats it says like 60% of the guys in us are single and don't even want to meet women before men used to be respected and when they go to women and say i like you then it proceeds to date and but these days it is like this any guy tries to proceed and try to talk to women they label them if you are a woman watching this one you might have said if he doesn't have balls to talk to me then why should i then don't expect that men should do all those things they used to do before because you got to be easy on them i'm sure like even if you're walking on a street 10 men would have come and uh, proposed you saying that i like you and those are the and i'm telling you those are the only 1% of people who do that let's say all these are men and so like few people here doesn't even think about doesn't even, are not even interested in talking to women and few people here talk to every woman there is some category of men who just 
go and talk to the women whom they like other like huge number of people which is nearly 70% i would say they those people never go and talk to a woman even if they like because they are just waiting for an opportunity let's say you are a woman and you are a, and you are with a group of friends he would never come to you and let's say you are busy they would not come to you because they think you are busy and sh- she might even slap me <laughs> that's why and uh, let's say or let's say you are with your uh, another friend like casual friend brother anybody they would not even come to you because they think always think that that guy is your boyfriend and those like small only 1% of people who come up and have that balls to talk to any any woman is the guy is the person who is the loudest person in the room today is with you and tomorrow is with someone else and he has hundreds of options and many women in my life personally also i observed that once they fall in love uh, deeply into one person because of their guts or whatever and later when they break their heart they cannot connect with any other guy even after getting married that's a huge problem try to give opportunities to the people who are in the between who are waiting for an opportunity but you might also think like this those people are creeps no actually they do not know how to approach they wait for the right time they are just waiting for the time and once they find the right time you know find the right time they think okay this is the right time and they approach you and do not know what to do and they do all this creepy shit trust me this is what happens so give them little more opportunity space and uh, uh, take little bit of initiative from your side also just for 5 seconds be easy on them don't don't expect like men should be strong men also cry men also are weak it's not before there used to be a lot of family support and everything for men but these days it's not there it is more for the women uh, so divorce is a huge option these days if something happens just get divorced and get go with someone else let's say there is no mother in the house men become more cruel if there is no father in the house and women would not get that side of men's perspective and they'll try to always find their fathers in someone else and that's where every guy whom they look at okay maybe this guy and they keep breaking their hearts this is all my perspective again again i am reminding you and some of them are also facts you might also know the only suggestion i have for men is to work hard and try to make more money because that is expectation of the woman and for women reduce your expectation from men a little don't expect them to be leaders or anything because you are already this one leader is enough in the house we don't want 10 leaders right somebody has to step down a little bit if your husband is stepping down or your boyfriend is stepping down or a little emotional person it doesn't mean that they are they don't have balls if it comes to saving you they would definitely come beat anyone and save you they have that in them but before you they want to be realistic they want to show that they also have feelings don't expect them to be always strong moody silent quiet that will also make you suffer remember this nobody is perfect everybody has these negatives and positives so try not to pick on those negatives and try to look at as much as positive side as possible rather than looking at that negative side and saying oh he is not this who is not that but look at what he is and even for guys don't expect your woman to sit at home and uh, just take care of your kids it's not like that women are ambitious and women it is good that women are growing and uh, you have we have to support each other to help us grow like for example in my life i wanted to come to canada and uh, my wife though she studied mtech just because i asked she sacrificed her promotion in a big mnc and she she came here to study for 2 years just for me and tomorrow when there would be a time where i would sacrifice for her that's how you we need to sacrifice for each other that's when the family life will become better and the more you sacrifice the more they also realize that you know yeah this person takes care of me it takes time it doesn't come in like one day or 
two days and or three months it takes like some years to build that trust and relationship i know i started with the guys and women and men but i ended up at the family but eventually that's the idea right build a good family and have a great family give them the time to understand you explore you and that's when things will become smoother sweeter okay take care hope this video is helpful bye bye see you next time this is tarun josh signing off